to my channel. Today I am going to be starting off an exciting week on my channel. So as a huge thank you to you guys for helping me reach 150,000 subscribers on my channel, I thought I would do a week on my channel of my most requested videos for you. So the two videos which I'm going to be doing for you on my Tuesday and my Friday upload this week are going to be my makeup collection and a room tour. These are two of the most highly requested videos on my channel and I thought I would do them because I never get around to uploading them. So today as my Tuesday upload I'm going to be doing my makeup collection. This is something which is definitely not perfect, it could definitely do with being better organised and could definitely do with a little bit of a clear out but since I am moving very very soon I haven't really bothered to do much about it and yeah. It's definitely not the standard that you usually see on YouTube but it's realistic, it's my makeup collection and I hope you enjoy. So without further ado, I will just get into the video. Please leave a like and subscribe if you are new to my channel and I will get on to my makeup collection. Let's go. I'm going to start out on this side of my desk because this is where my makeup collection begins. So in here I have my lipsticks. I will leave a link to where I got this acrylic drawer set from if you guys are interested in buying one. Um, but on the top I have, so the top of this drawer we have lipsticks from L'Oreal, we have lipsticks from Body Shop here and these ones here are liquid lipsticks from Ciate and also Lottie ones mixed in as well and then I have my favourite lip glosses at the back there, if you can see there I just have my favourite lip glosses. So drawer two we have some more liquid lipsticks, this side we have Body Shop ones and then on this side I've got an Anastasia one, some ones from Stila, Colourpop and the NYX liquid lingerie ones are at the side here if you can see that and then at the back I just have some random lip glosses and matte liquid lipsticks from, where are these from? From Rimmel. Then in the third drawer I have a bunch of liquid lipsticks from MUA. They are pretty drying so I don't wear them that often, not gonna lie, but I do keep them because I do like the selection of colours. I really don't have colours, especially like these ones here and also there's a black one here which I thought was super cool so I keep them in a way. And then there are some more matte liquid lipsticks at the back here from MUA again and also Sleek is in there. And then this drawer here, second to the bottom, I just have more lipsticks. So we have Maybelline ones here, Milani ones here, Avon, Rimmel, Natural Collection at the back. Which ones are these? These ones are from Real Her. They've got really super cool packaging on them. So these are all just like random lipsticks which I have. And then final drawer is this one here. So along the bottom here I have all my Revlon lip butters. Let me know in the comment section if you remember the trend of everybody collecting these. It was maybe like two or three years ago but everybody used to be obsessed with collecting these and everyone used to take photos of them and put them on Instagram. So I was part of that trend so now we have all these. Um, in the corner here, can you see that? In the corner here I have some lip creams from NYX and then I also have some Wet n Wild liquid lipsticks random along the back as well. So that is my lipstick collection area. So then down here, which is the most randomest thing guys, but basically I ran out of space not that long ago in my makeup collection and I had to improvise. So in here I have moved all my lip glosses. I know this is just so so random but this is what I have to deal with because I just can't be bothered redoing my makeup collection when I'm leaving so soon. So this is my lip gloss collection in here. The top in here is all my favourite ones or the ones that I see that are nicer. These ones here are honestly amazing. These are from Lottie and they are so cool. They are so colourful and glossy. You basically don't need to wear a lipstick underneath. It's actually amazing. I've got some metallic lip glosses from MUA in here. What else do we have? Some L'Oreal lip glosses. Some NYX lip glosses. Like honestly it's a little bit of a mess but 
I know where things are, so I'm kind of just living with it. And that is in there. And then at the bottom here, I have more lip glosses. They're kind of the lip glosses which I never really use. Um, what's in here? This is Poundland's makeup brand. Like, honestly, like W7, don't know. Just random stuff is in the bottom one. So that is all my lip glosses. So now, moving on to the more exciting part, I think, of this makeup collection. And that is my IKEA Alex drawer. It's very cramped, pre-warning, but I think by now you've got the fact that I am running out of space. So, in the top drawer of my makeup collection, I have face stuff. So on the left-hand side of the first drawer, I have all my powders. So we've got one from Natural Collection. This one here is the NYX HD powder, Laura Mercier, all that good stuff. All my powders are down the left side. Down this one here are all my highlighters. So at the front here we have Colourpop ones, Laura Geller, then we have like the BAM, 17 Instant Shimmer Brick, all that good stuff. That doesn't go there. Um, the Topshop Glow Cream Pot Highlighter. And then it does go all the way back to the bottom of this drawer, but I didn't build this drawer well enough so it doesn't come all the way out which is really frustrating but I just put my favourite ones at the front and then if I want other ones at the back then I can reach for them when in need and then next to that I have bronzers so again it goes all the way back but I just put my favourite ones at the front and then you know the drill so we've got the BAM, Bahama Mama, we've got NARS, Benefit, NYC so that is all that and then finally down this side I keep all my blushers so they're all the way to the back we've got ones from Milani these ones are NYX this one is from Natural Collection and then this little section at the front which is very much just being crammed in these are all your like stick stuff so this is the Dewy Stick from Ciate what else do we have in here like the Topshop cream highlighter stick um, like a NYX blusher, literally just anything that is not your regular standard shape is just like put in here and then you've got a couple um, like a sleek contour kit and an MUA blush palette have been popped in the top here as well. But that is drawer one. Moving on to drawer number two. On the corner here we have all my primers. So we've got Maybelline Baby Skin, Benefit, Laura Mercier, Lottie, what else have we got? Lumi Magique, a bunch of primers all live in that little area there. Then to this side um, we have concealers. So there are some pot concealers as well and then there's also um, just regular cream liquid concealers which I much prefer so they all live there and then on this little area here pretty random but this is where I keep all my eyebrow stuff so I pop this to the side just because it doesn't fit and that is the Benefit Cabrow but this is all my like eyebrow kits lined up here Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade all that good stuff and then I've just got my um, Bobbi Brown face base because it doesn't really fit in my primer section. And then at the back here I have a big box basically full of any sort of eye pencil. I think what I'll do is I'll just take these out and bring this forward so you guys can see what's in here. The boxes which I use by the way are all like Chinese takeaway boxes which I have obviously cleared out so you can see that there. So if I bring these two boxes forward so you can see them a little bit better. The first box here is honestly like bulging out. I have anything that is basically the shape of a pencil that goes on your eye. I don't know if that makes sense. So I have eyeliners, eyebrow pencils, um, glitter liners, eyebrow gel, like anything that is kind of a pencil form I just chucked in here so if I want something in here I just have to rummage there is like colored eyeliners here Um, what's this this one's by wet and wild and then the box behind that is all my mascaras I feel like I didn't have that many mascaras but now I've looked at it I actually have tons which is not good um 
So yeah, my most used ones are this one here by Maybelline and then this one here which is by Benefit. Um, and then there's a bunch of other ones. Um, this eyeliner should be in here. But yes, that is that. And then this box just fits in there. These are the primers which you get when you buy Naked Palette. They just live there as well. So this box here, if I take this out and show you, this is all my single eyeshadows. So back here we have all lined up the Maybelline color tattoos. I went through a stage of collecting them basically. So I now have quite a few. They're all lined up down there. Um, then we just have single shadows from Kiko. Kiko. What's that? NYX. These are natural collection. And then down here we have any sort of pigment. So these ones are from MAC and this one is a liquid shadow from Urban Decay. This is a single shadow from Glitter Eyes. It's just like a pressed glitter. So this is all just single shadows and that goes in the side there. So that is a completed look of drawer number two in my makeup collection. Moving on to drawer number three. This is another random drawer. Honestly, just nothing is organized in here. The left hand side of this drawer is all eyelashes. My favorite pairs of eyelashes are by Ardell. These are the Demi Wispies and then I've also got the Ardell Double Ups. I honestly just love Ardell lashes so, so much. Um, there's a pair of the regular Wispies by Ardell. They are just all in there. And then on this side, we kind of continue with the theme of moving into eyes. So single shadows, little mini palettes here. So the Wet n Wild trios. Um, this one's like a quad from CoverGirl. Just like any really small palettes live in this drawer. I will show you behind. We have another box of small eyeshadow palettes. So these ones are quads from the Body Shop. Then I have an Ingot quad, an MUA mini eyeshadow palette, pressed glitter quad from Glitter Eyes, um, what's down the side, a NYX trio. So basically these are mini palettes that are in this this drawer and then mini palettes also are down here these are mainly face palettes obviously I've got the naked basics which is just chilling there but these are mainly um face palettes because I could not even begin to try and fit them in here so we pop them down here along with the mini palettes here so the sleek um solstice highlighting palettes the other sleek palettes which is for highlighting um the Technique Strobe Kit is in here, the MUA Highlighting Palette is in here, a Sleek Highlighting Palette is in here. So this is just again more mini palettes that live in this drawer overall here. And then onto drawer number four. This is, I don't know what this is. <laughs> so this half of the drawer is nail polishes so I have nail files and things in here this is a nail polish remover and then at the back we have all of my nail polishes which I just keep in here they're kind of in sections of um, brands so there's Barry M here I have like mainly Rimmel down here with a bit of Essie it's kind of organized but like not really I think that's the theme of this video Um, so that's all my um, nail polishes which live there on this side of the drawer and then on this half of the drawer I have lip balms here and this is like hand sanitizers from Bath and Body Works. I went through a phase of collecting those so those live there and then right at the back like right in there we have these nail art pens you know the ones where you can like draw on your nails they live in there. Drawer number five which is hair stuff, which is not makeup, so I'm not going to spend too long on this. But I just keep Kirby Grips, bubbles, donuts, brushes. This is where I have my tweezers and stuff. It all lives in there. Then drawer number five, no, drawer number six. Um, we're back to makeup again. So this is where I keep my palettes. The reason why it's not so connected with these is because it's one of the thicker ones and I need it because some of my palettes are fatter. <laughs> um, so 
let's take some of the miscellaneous stuff out first so you can see it a little bit better. So first of all, very randomly, along the front here I have all my foundations because I like to keep them standing up. I used to keep them in a smaller drawer lying down but then the pumps wouldn't work when you wanted to squish them because the product would be lying on the side and not upwards. So I moved them to the front of this drawer so that they're all standing up. So that is all those there. Then I have two rows of palettes, if you can see that there. So the first row here is just like my favorites, and then the second row are just palettes which I don't use so much, so I could put them further back. I feel like we're missing a palette, actually. Why does this look very, like, I don't know. Anyway, yeah, we totally are. There's one meant to be in here. What are you? Who is missing? I kind of put them in order of like everyday to wacky. So these ones from this side are all like neutrals and then they start to get a little bit more crazy all the way up until this one at the very end which is by BH Cosmetics and yeah like it's literally super wacky. So that one just goes in the side. Kind of see what we've got in here. Blank canvas, Zoeva. This one is the Anastasia Modern Renaissance chocolate bar, the three Urban Decay ones which I have, um, there's the Jaclyn Hill face palette in here, um, Steal It In The Light, the Carly Bible one is in here, Chloe Morello's palette is there as well, and then as I said at the back I've got palettes which I don't use so much, um, so I've got ones from MUA, I'm never going to be able to get these back in, so they all just live in there, the back ones I don't use so much, never really touch them but they're there because we bought them once upon a time so I don't like throwing them out because I spent my money on them um, and then also the ones that don't fit actually I could pop this in here and then my Anastasia glow kit does not fit anywhere so it just gets chucked on the top like so and then the next two drawers are skincare stuff but at the bottom here I just keep my giant palettes because they don't fit anywhere so the Violet Voss one is here, the Morphe thing, Copper Spice palette is there and then I also keep my big Morphe palettes here as well because they're massive and they just live in there basically. So that is all my makeup drawers and all my random stuff over there. So. Hope you enjoyed. So guys, that is my makeup collection for you. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you do like seeing my makeup collection and you're looking forward to my room tour on Friday, then please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you happen to be new to my channel. And I will see you soon on Friday. Bye guys.